Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial session, we are going to install Eclipse on macOS. I'm using Mac M2 with operating system Sonoma. You can use the same process for the different operating system as well. There is one prerequisite Java JDK must be installed on our Mac system. So first we need to verify Java is there or not. To check Java is installed on your Mac, you have to simply open the terminal and then type this command Java space hyphen version. Let's do it. Go to the spotlight search and type terminal, press enter. Once the terminal window is open, you can type the same command Java space hyphen version, press enter. Then you will see this kind of information Java version 21.0. So right now, Java 21. is installed on my system but it may be different in your case if you see this message that means you can proceed with the further and if java is not found on your system so you have to install java first then you can continue with this session assuming your java is present on your system so you can continue let's open the chrome browser and type download eclipse installer press enter after that you will see some results so choose the first one open in new tab so friends, this is the Eclipse official download page. From this place, we will download Eclipse installer. You can see the statement here, Eclipse installer 2024 R is now includes JRE for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. So we are using Eclipse installer, right? We are not going to download the particular Eclipse variant. So Basically, Eclipse installer comes with these different variant of Eclipse. So if you are a Java developer, you can proceed the first one. You are a Java EE developers, you can choose the second one. And the other variant for C++ developer, PHP developer, and the other kind of development. Right? So we are going to install the Eclipse installer once. And in the later, in the future, if you need any different kind of uh, Eclipse version so you can download from this Eclipse installer right that's why we are using Eclipse installer and this is the very easiest way to install different variant of Eclipse right just in front of that you can see here we have a different version of Mac OS if you have the Intel chips you can use the x86 64 the first link if you have a Mac with the M1, M2 and M3 chip, so friends, choose the second one. This is a Arch 64. So I have the M2 chip on my Mac. Let me show you. So you can check it this way. Click on the about this Mac and you will find that Mac. So I'm going to proceed with the second link. When you click, you will be navigated to the different page. Now click on this download link and you will see downloading will start. And the size is not big, 104 MB and this will take 5 to 6 minutes or it may be very fast if you have a very good internet speed. So first download this properly and then we will launch the DMG file. So now you can go to the downloads folder where this file has been downloaded. Now we will simply do a double click on this DMG file to launch. And then we will get a message like Mac security restricting to run this DMG file. You can simply click OK. And now we will fix it quickly. Go to the Apple icon. Then go to the system settings. And here you can scroll down and go to the privacy and security now go to the right side just scroll down under the section security you will see the message like the eclipse installer was blocked simply click on the open anyway then this pop-up box will appear you have to type the mac password and now just click on this blue button modify settings and again you will get a pop-up box click open and you will see that dmg file is mounted and launched now we can proceed with the Eclipse installer installation. This is very straightforward. This is the icon. We have to simply drag this icon and drop on this applications folder. Right? So before going to do that, we will first launch this Eclipse installer and we will select 
the right variant for our Java development, right? The same thing happened. Mac OS restricting this installer launch. Again, we have to go to the privacy and security and we have to click this open anyway and we have to allow from this place to run that installer. Click open anyway. Now give the Mac password here. Click on the modify settings. Now you will get this pop up box to open. Click open and the launcher will present on your screen. Okay, guys, now we are getting the list of the different variants available to install, right? So choose any one of your choice. I'm going to proceed with the Java and the web developer variant. So, going to select the second option. Here we have a different variant as well for the C, C++ developer, PHP developer and the other de developers as well. So let's proceed with the second option. Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web development. Click on this. And then you will see the second window. Here Eclipse installer detected the installed Java version on my system right so you can see this is java 21 which we have verified in the very first step of this tutorial right so leave this thing as it is and you can see the installation folder so this is going inside the users right if you have a, any specific uh, location for the installation you can change it to the browse button now click next and this will show you the uh, terms and conditions page accept it and now you will see the installation is in progress so friends make sure you are connected to the internet and if the if you have a very good internet speed this will not take much time for the installation and we have to wait for this this progress bar to reach at 100 percent okay once the uh, installation will be done you will see this message like uh, launch this green button you can simply click to launch the eclipse and you will see the splash screen now once this will show you the uh, the workspace so eclipse going to create a folder for your projects on this location if you want to change it you can simply click on the browse create a folder at your desired location and you can select and proceed right so i'm not going to do that I'm going with the default uh, workspace location. Click launch. Okay, so this is the home screen of the Eclipse IDE. Now we can maximize and let's proceed for creating a Java project and we will do a test run. Let's find out the location of the installed Eclipse. You can see right now Eclipse icon is not present here because uh, to make it convenient to launch next time when you come back for uh, your development this will be lost so first you have to go to the icon then simply click show in finder and you will see the eclipse installed location now we will drag and drop this eclipse application into our applications folder so this will be convenient for the next time to launch the eclipse if we do not perform this activity, you need to find the Eclipse icon where it has been saved by the installer. Okay, this is done. We can close the rest of the windows. Now we come back to the Eclipse installer again, right? So this is the installer. We will simply drag and drop this inside the applications folder as well. Now we have both things. Eclipse is there and the eclipse installer also present so whenever we need any different variant of the eclipse we can simply launch the eclipse installer app and then we can proceed for the download and installation right that's why we placed both things here in this applications folder and the another way to launch the eclipse you can simply go to the launch pad and type the eclipse and you will get the icon to launch the Eclipse. Here we go. This is our workspace location. Click launch. Now we are inside the Eclipse IDE. Here we can proceed for the Java development. 
let's create a simple java project and we will do a test run go to the file section then go to the new you can choose the maven project as well but uh, we are going to simply going to create a simple java project right now go to the other and here you can select this option java project click next and here the new java project window give the name of your first java project right and uh, by default the execution environment is by default is there so leave this thing as it is right so we don't need the module so i have unchecked this click next and then you will get this src folder location and leave the rest of the thing as it is click finish okay this will ask you to open perspective for the java development when you go to the package explorer you will find your project folder is ready now you can expand this tree and here you will see the java library 21 is attached and all necessary uh, libraries are there now you can simply go to the src create a new class file give a name right and uh, we are going to create this class with the main method let's uh, give a package name if you need so we are just going to give a package name here let's suppose cool id help click finish that's it so the skeleton of the basic class file is ready now we are going to write a syso statement and we are going to uh, we are going to print something on the console this way let's suppose welcome to java programming and just save it so friends there's a dedicated button to run it or you can do a right click and run this as a java application and here are the results so you will see the results on the console and this is working properly and this is all yours you can start your development inside the clips you can do some practice you can start learning so friends we have seen the eclipse installation on mac operating system sonoma i hope you guys have found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and you can subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help